guys, and welcome to episode number 15 of my modern Minecraft Let's Play here on Minecraft 1.5.2. So, last episode I left you guys here. We just walked a little bit through this, um, I guess, I don't know what they're called, the fortresses. And, oh, here we go. Look at this. So, we just found our, um, found this, the portal, the end portal. And we'll just chuck up a quick torch up there, stop them from spawning again, even though they did. Um, I'm also going to block off this lava because I'm not very great with lava. Pretty good at walking into it, actually. See, that's pretty special. We just found that. Um, I can hear them in the walls and stuff, but that's fine. So we're going to need... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe we'll block off this one as well. Whew, nearly died there. That wouldn't have been very good. But it's okay. We're still alive. Everything's okay. Um, so let's get back to counting how many we needed. After we're rudely interrupted, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to need 10 ender pearls, and we're also going to need 10 um, uh, blaze rods. I don't actually want to swing the power fist up there because I'm scared I might break one of these portals and that it wouldn't be very good. Um, so yeah, I guess we have to go to the end now. We'll come back. Well, not the end, the um, the nether to find some blaze. I'm just collecting a few doors, just because I can. Ooh. So um. That's the quickest I've ever found a portal, the end portal. Which is a little bit surprising, but that's also pretty cool. Um, all these creepers are from Ars Magica, which I have added. Oh. I don't actually know what they do yet, but that looks kind of cool. I think we might just leave that there. And we'll do a bit of a dig up. I think. Yeah, we'll just do a straight dig up. Because now we found what we needed. It's always good. I'm thinking for our trip to the nether we might make some new armor least a new chest plate because as you know it's a lot easier to get around in the nether if you can fly and at the moment I don't have the resources to make the um, the machine uses power suit to be able to fly just because yeah it's a bit expensive that way um, I think we might just build up if we go across here. We'll just dirt peel, dirt pillar up. We'll see if we can quickly sleep in our little base up here. So I just updated, um, what did I update? Forestry to 1.2.8.2 and extra bees to the pre-release 15 I believe. So we're pretty much up to date with all that sort of stuff. So while we're heading back, I'm thinking of making some nano armor. So I'm Think of making the uh, advanced nano chest plate. Maybe 
I have to see if I have the resources for this, but I also need these energy boosters, which doesn't seem too difficult, but we'll see how we go. But first we might actually see what we need to make our armor chest plate be able to fly. I think it needs um a lot of stuff. A few really expensive parts as well. So let's have a quick check. So for movement we need the jetpack which needs iron thrusters. And let's see how we make them. I think I've checked this before. So we need how many of those did we need? To make it fly needed four of those means we're going to need four times two is eight force field emitters which is going to be eight times four is 32 ender pearls and that's the only thing I really can't afford at the moment so what I think we might be doing is if I have any I think I already have some of these compressed somewhere I can't find them here so we'll make ourselves nano body oh, it just comes up by itself first we want to see if we can make a jetpack so we can definitely make a jetpack so we have some circuits here we'll go over to our system just here might just chuck off some stuff in here maybe not so we're going to need some Let's just start with jetpack, so let's go jetpack, if I can spell, yeah, bat box, which is some batteries and some copper, so we need some refined iron, some copper, some tin probably, should have some tin just here. And then we're going to need some wood. Do I have any wood anywhere? Make a stack of wood. A half a stack. So let's just make our bat box real quick. So we need some batteries. Which is some tin. Which I don't think I have enough tin to make that. So. Ah, I also need some. which I think I have over here. So let's make three. And some redstone, which I don't have. Sorry for being a bit unorganized today, guys. It's just, just trying to get out some episodes before my next exams. So there's three for now. Make ourselves a bat box isn't going to make. So there's our bat box. We need to upgrade this. So we need some lapis, some glowstone. There's some lapis there, some glowstone there. make the one for now and then we should just be able to make so there's that one then we need to make our advanced electric backpack so we need a uh, make a few more batteries so how many do we actually need we needed oops that's not the right one so we need six. And then we need just a normal circuit and ten. Then to upgrade that we need a uh, few blocks of lapis. Okay, let's see if we have enough for a few blocks of lapis. It 
looks like we don't. Or did we just need six? Hopefully we just needed six. Oops, not that one, but we're going to have to make one of them anyway. So we'll just make that now. Um, we only needed six, so that's fine. We can make that, but it's not going to make for us. And then we have to upgrade it again, so we need another advanced. A Lapatronic Crystal, which I at the moment don't have enough Lapis, so I'm just going to make a cut here guys, and then I'll be back with you guys when I've got all my things sorted. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, so I just grabbed all the things I needed for this. So, except a diamond. Which I should have one just here somewhere. So we're going to have to make ourselves a Labatronic Crystal, which is just a diamond surrounded by a redstone. And then it's also just two, two circuits. So we have two here. And I think it was Lapis. Just enough. And then we're going to make. So that doesn't like making automatically, but that's fine. Advanced circuit, Lapatronic Crystal, Advanced Lap Pack. And then the final things we need to make are these boosters, which you're going to need some overclock upgrades and an advanced heat vent. So I'll just make all these parts and come back to you guys. Welcome back, guys. So I just went for a quick mining, found some other stuff we don't really need, but I needed some lapis and I had just found some. So as you can see, I already have taken it out of my backpack and just made my final advanced circuit that I need to finish making my advanced jetpack. So, last thing I haven't made are these. So we need two of those. And whatever I made of them. Um, haven't made my cooling heats or advanced cooling vents. So I'll just grab some iron out real quick. For them we also need these heats, so do we have enough advanced iron yet, or refined iron? Not yet. Just cook up a fair bit. Um, I think we might need another one of these, so we'll just grab some more. Never hurts to have too much of anything. That probably should be enough. Uh, so we're just going to make up our heat vents, so we need two each, so we actually aren't going to have enough, so we'll just cook up a whole another half stack, and then we're just going to make this, so there's one, so let's make one of our boosters, so there's one booster, while well, this one's cooking up, then we'll go to the other one. Need two more refined iron. There's two more. Ooh. And then we're going to need to craft this. So there's our advanced heat vent. Then we can make our last booster. So now we should have everything that we need just started raining really hard here in Australia um, what am I missing? I think we're missing anything so we'll just build it manually and we need some ref glass cable and there we go, we have our advanced electric jetpack so now that we have that we want to grab our nano Hopefully we can make this, so let's need another diamond and some redstone. So there's our energy crystal. I'm just going to surround this by those to get our nano body plate. You need one more, uh, one more of those circuits, so hopefully we have everything. Nope, we have not enough refined iron. 
Uh, where did that just go? Ah, we put it on. Okay. So we need one more of these. We don't have enough copper cable. But we do have enough of the rubber. So we need some copper. Oh, I made some more uninsulated. I kind of manage to always make too much and um, end up with a lot of uninsulated copper cabling but that's not the worst of my worry or not the most of my worries so now we can just make this however we make it that's on the bottom those two there and this on the top so there we go guys, we made ourselves a nano chest plate. Let's just go see if we can fill this up. I don't think we can actually fill it up here, but... Nope, seems we can't. Um, we'll just grab out our wrench over here. And then just wrench some of these. So there's one. There's two. And we'll grab that one as well. There's three. So put that out of the way, or we can put it on I guess. We might want to put it here just to save on cabling. And then we'll grab out two, three cables left, place there and there, take off our chest plate, put it in there and she'll start charging up. So I'm just going to cut here guys and come back to you guys and we'll be ready to go to the nether when this is fully charged up. See you guys shortly. Welcome back guys. So I just took my mine cart over here to where my portal is to go to the quarry. This has started to dig straight down basically. I'm just going to eat real quick here. As you can see I've got my advanced nano chest plate on here. And I've just dug straight into a um, nether fortress. Which is kind of cool because that's kind of what I was looking for. Because I am now looking for blazers. So we can use our nether portal. I'm just going to use this technique to know where I came from. With all of our um, sort of things we have here. I know I don't really need to light this up, but it just makes me feel a little bit safer sometimes. So we have to press F to turn on our jetpack, if you guys didn't know. Um, so it doesn't look like there's a lot here on this level. We're just going to go back down. So let's just place one here as well. In this episode might be a bit longer, I'm just going to go until I find a, uh, a spawner, hopefully, or at least a blaze. Just so we can get some, uh, what's it called, blaze powder. Not really much over here. So, um, yeah, I think I might just cut the episode here till I find a spawner, guys, and I'll be with you in just a second. Welcome back, guys. That was a bit of a pointless cut because as soon as I turned this corner, I did find what I wanted to find. I'm just going to place this here to make sure I know where I'm going. I found myself a blaze spawner. So we're just going to put some torches around this real quick. Get rid of this guy. Now he's done. We're just going to make this into a bit more of a uh, useful room. And who doesn't like a bit of nether brick? It's always a bit handful, a bit useful, sorry. 
because it's used in a fair few recipes. Oh, there's our first few. So as you can tell, this armor's quite good. Um, you don't really take much damage with it. Hey, buddy. So I'm really just trying to make this into like not as small an area as possible, but an area where I can only attack the blazes that spawn. Because once that's done, then you get maximum efficiency out of it, pretty much. At least in terms of... I kind of wish I just had a sword, though. But this um, power tool is a little bit overpowered in terms of taking out everything else not just the things you want it to. So how many, we got three here. Might just wait for a few more. Actually I might just grind some off camera and then meet you guys back at the base. Okay guys, welcome back. So I only got uh, eight blaze rods, but that will be more than enough because um, I don't really need all of them, but I think I lost, well I didn't lose count. I know I've got it recorded somewhere but we're just going to go with 14 because I know 14 is the maximum you need. And I think for this episode we'll call it quits. Um, had a few comments today. Uh, there was one about a storage if we're going to do some automation and that's definitely where we're going towards. Um, definitely want to get some A automation going and yeah I'll definitely get up to the 64k's storage because the 16 just isn't enough anymore and yes I know that I said dungeons lots I did in this, this episode as well but Glenard or G-L-E-O-N-A-R-D 1234X told me that it was a dungeon or well, the dungeon was called um, a stronghold and that is definitely correct so I think that'll do us for today, guys. Uh, if you liked the episode, please click the like button. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content and you want to see more, please click the subscribe button. And as always, guys, have a good day.